Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about supply of money for UGC NET. And topics for today's video are what is money supply, measures of money supply like M1, M2, M3 and M4 and determinants of money supply in which we will talk about high powered money and money multiplier. So let's start it. So what is money supply? Money supply is total amount of money in existence. Money supply is total amount of money in existence in any country. For example, cash, coins, money deposit in bank, etc. In 1977, Reserve Bank of India introduced four measures of money supply. M1, M2, M3 and M4. One by one we discuss about each. First of all, we are going to talk about M1. M1 is most liquid portion of money. M1 is most liquid portion of money. Liquid portion means M1 contain cash or any asset which we can convert into cash very quickly. M1 equal to currency and coins with public plus demand deposit with commercial bank plus other deposit with RBI. A currency and coins with public means physical form of money for example paper note which we hold as a cash. And the demand deposit of commercial bank means any deposit which we can withdraw without giving any advance notice means any deposit which we can convert into cash very quickly. Last is other deposit with RBI. Sometime public finance institution, foreign central bank and international finance institution deposit some money in RBI, it will be called other deposit with RBI. Now we will see M2. M2 is broader concept as compared to M1. M2 is broader concept as compared to M1. Means M2 consists all components of M1 plus saving account with post office. So we can say that M2 equal to M1 means M2 consists all component of M1 that we have earlier discussed plus saving account with post office. As we know, saving account with post office is a deposit scheme that is provided by post office. And in this account, they provide fixed interest rate. Next is M3. M3 consists all component of M1 plus net time deposit with banks. That's why M3 equal to M1 means M3 consists all component of M1 plus net time deposit with banks. So what do you mean by net time deposit with bank? Net time deposit with the bank is amount of money that we deposit in bank for fixed time period. And we can withdraw this amount only after maturity of fixed period. Now we are going to talk about M4. M4 include all component of M3 plus all deposit with the post office saving bank. Don't confuse with M2. M2 only include saving deposit of post office or saving bank. But in M4 include all deposit with the post office saving bank and all deposit with the post office saving bank mainly include FD and RD. As we know FD are fixed deposit where our money locked for fixed time period and RD is a recurring deposit which allow people to make a regular deposit and earn a decent interest rate on it. And uh, our M4 equal to M3 plus all deposit with the post office saving bank. And all deposit with post office saving bank mainly include FD and RD but exclude NSC means we do not include NSC in all deposit with post office saving bank. We exclude NSC. NSC is national saving certificate that is a fixed income investment scheme. Now we are going to talk about two determinants of money supply. First is a high powered money. High powered money is base for creation of money supply. High powered money is a base for creation of money supply. That's why this is also called monetary base. As we know in our country only RBI and government have a power to issue or print notes. How much money actually issued or printed by RBI or government will be called high powered money. Please listen carefully. How much money actually issued or printed by RBI or government will be called high powered money. Don't be confused between high powered money and money supply. 
as we know high powered money is base for creation of money supply and high powered money is actually issued or printed by rbi or government suppose our high powered money is 1000 this money is actually printed by rbi or government and this money is deposited in bank as we know bank have a power to make money from money through the process of credit creation how much money bank makes through the process of credit creation it will be called money supply for example this 1000 rupees is deposit in bank and bank keep 100 rupees as a reserve and give 900 rupees loan to someone else and this person buy something from this and give this amount to shopkeeper and shopkeeper deposit this money in bank means ultimately this 900 rupees will come in bank again bank will keep 90 rupees reserve and give 810 rupees as a loan to other person this person will buy something from this and give this amount to shopkeeper and they will deposit their money in bank means ultimately this 810 rupees will come in bank this process will continues after certain time period you can see total amount will be 10000 so here we see with the help of only 1000 rupees bank has created 10000 rupees so we can say that bank have a power to make money from money through the process of credit creation high powered money is actually base for creation of money supply this is our monetary base and bank have a power to make money money from money so high powered money is our money base when bank through the process of credit creation make money from money it will be called our money supply so here 1000 rupees our high powered money and 10000 rupees our money supply now we will see formula of high powered money and money supply high powered money equal to c plus rr plus er h is high powered money as we know whatever money is printed by government or rbi some part of this money goes to public and some part of this money goes to bank so here c is currency or we can say that c is part of money which is in public hand and rr and er is part of money which bank have the rr means required reserve and er means excess reserve or we can say that er means additional reserve so as we know uh, bank have a power to make money from money this pa uh, this part of high powered money goes to bank so now we will see how bank create more money from money as we know money supply means total amount of money in existence it mainly consists cash coins and deposit in banks and formula of money supply is c plus d c means currency d means deposit c of a high powered money and c of money supply are equal to each other because c represent money in public hand uh, and uh, people don't have a power to make more money from money na that's why this c will remain constant only bank have power to make money from money rr and er part of money bank have means uh, this uh, will be called reserve which bank have and bank with the help of this money will create more deposits and that will become equal to d so we can say that with the help of this part of money bank creates so many deposits that's become equal to d and this is part of our money supply now with the help of this diagram we will see high powered money and money supply as you know high powered money is actually issued or printed by rbi and uh, money supply means how much money is created by bank through the process of credit creation and uh, in this diagram this above part represent uh, money supply this part and below this part represent high powered money as we know money supply equal to c plus d c currency d deposit km uh, represent currency and me represent deposit and below part represent high powered money as you know high powered money equal to c plus rr plus er this part represent reserves and this part represent currency in this diagram ab part represent currency and bd part represent reserves or we can say that bd part represent both rr plus er now we will see here you can see km and ab part of uh, uh, money supply and high powered money are same ab represent currency and km represent currency both will remains 
same because uh, this is money which is in public hand and public don't have a power to make money from money. Only bank have a power to make more money from money. BD part of money have bank. So with this BD part of money, bank create deposit equal to ME. You can see BD, uh, ME is more than BD. BD is our actual money base. With the help of this money base, bank has created money equal to ME. This is part of uh, money supply. So here we can see M is more than B, D. Now we are going to talk about money multiplier. Money multiplier is a degree in which money supply is expanded as a result of increased in high powered money. Money multiplier is a degree in which money supply is expanded as a result of increased in high powered money. Means how much money supply has a created because of high powered money, it will be called money multiplier. Now we will drive formula of money multiplier. M equal to M over H. Here small m represent money multiplier. Capital M represent money supply. H represent high powered money. As we know money supply equal to C plus D. That's why we put C plus D here. As we know high powered money equal to C plus RR plus ER, that's why in place of H we write this. Now upper and lower part we divide with D. Our equation will become like this, C over D plus D over D. D and D cancel with each other and become equal to 1. C over D, RR over D plus ER over D. In place of C over D we will write CD plus 1. Again in place of C over D we will write CD. In place of RR over D, we will write RD. In place of ER over D, we will write ED. M represent money multiplier. CD means ratio of currency to deposit. Means ratio of currency in deposit. RD represent ratio of require reserve in deposit. ED represent ratio of excess reserve in deposit. Means how much deposit we have created with the help of currency, with the help of required reserve and with the help of excess reserve. And this is represented by our multi, uh, money, money multiplier. How much money supply we have created with the help of high powered money. So this is all about uh, money supply for UGC net. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.